What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my studios. And uh, yes, I think we all that Roman Reigns is going to be on the redemption arc because ever since he came back last month, let's just say that things have been really interesting because of the bloodline, Cody Rose, and the whole back and forth segment between those two is going to go down in history as one of the best storylines in the history of professional wrestling. Just like the DX, the Ministry of Darkness, Corporate Ministry, the Unholy Alliance, the Evolution, etc. But the Bloodline to me will always be the best in my opinion because it definitely made SmackDown the most watched show in years because of his heel persona. And ever since he came back last month on SummerSlam, this babyface version of the Trauma Chief. I could get behind 100%. But this video is about him going on his redemption arc. And I personally believe that that is exactly what's going to happen. Roman Reigns trying to make amends with Jay Uso will be so compelling. This is a new timeline. Jay has got a single title, but Roman doesn't. Roman lost everything, and Jay gained the entire world. Roman will need Jay, but Jay doesn't need him. He is no longer in the shadow of his cousin and brother. Oh, this is getting good. I like where this is going because just think about the amount of insane storylines they're going to put him in after bad blood when Cody Rose is finally done his work with the bloodline and Roman Reigns could just go on a quest to find members of his old bloodline on a redemption arc in order to be on the right path. But once he's done that, after beating Solo Sokoa's bloodline at Survivor Series War Games, then he could go on a mission to win back his undisputed title. Like, think about how crazy that's going to be for WrestleMania 41 in Las Vegas. You know they're going to end up cooking up something good with Roman Reigns because he is the reason why a lot of us are loving SmackDown so far, it's because of it, so I like where this is going. You know, if him trying to make amends with everybody for all the crap he's done, manipulating people, using people for his dirty work throughout the years, and so I believe this babyface version of Roman Reigns is going to end up being a lot better than the heel version in my opinion, even though I adore the heel trauma chief because he was being savage like no other burning people on the mic exposing them just cooking them every minute he gets on the mic jay is not the same guy that roman manipulated and mentally tortured for years roman would have to apologize and hold himself accountable for all of that and i personally believe he's going to end up doing that and let's face it the more I look at Roman Reigns on TV, the more I realize that this brother has something. He has something special as a baby face version of the Tribal Chief. And like I said, if Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns were able to coexist at the Bad Blood pay-per-view, now you know it's going to be a bloodbath between the, so the Bloodline and Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. That segment they did last Friday was not only pure cinema, but it means you feel like you want more. And when I did my reaction last Friday, I knew something about that segment just feels right. Whatever they need to do, like some serious segments like this, yeah, I want them to keep that up more often. I think that was all the tweet that I saw. I had to retweet on my Twitter so that I could have y'all read along with me as I go along with this. So, Roman Reigns, he's about to go on his redemption arc and trust and believe when I say this. Lord knows that when all of this is over, when he becomes new champion and went back his undisputed title in Las Vegas, you know, you know, Triple H is doing something great with Roman Reigns. And once Cody Rhodes loses his title at WrestleMania 41, I can, I can easily smell a heel turn for Cody. I can easily smell a heel turn. Because you know, they are seriously 
doing something insane with these characters and i love to see it so what are your thoughts on this let me know in the comments down below and i'm gonna catch you 